This guy TKOs people. When I knock people out, they don't fucking move. They're like, who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? Hello, and welcome to MMA Surge. For today's video, we're going to take a look at the greatest trash talkers in MMA history. Number 6. Nick Diaz Considering the later success of his brother Nate, it's almost easy to forget exactly how important Nick Diaz was in setting the blueprint for those who would eventually follow him. There's people out there, they don't really like me very much. As MMA's original bad boy, Diaz's natural wit has seen him, perhaps unknowingly, come through with some of the greatest one-liners in combat sports history. And that, simply put, is what endears Nick to people. For all of his aggression, it's pretty easy to see that the man is coming from a genuine place when he's roaring Stockton across the cage at Robbie Lawler. Gets into the octagon. He looks over at Robbie and goes, Stockton, motherfucker! Stockton! Or quietly warning reporter Ariel Hawani that people like uh, him get slapped well, where he's you're from. You're the only one that started any talking about this fight. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're the one saying, oh. Number five, Quinton Jackson. Well, one thing I eat wet. <laughs> my cereal. Quinton Jackson is known as one of the most aggressively destructive fighters of all time and outside the cage, he's no different, making the nickname Rampage among the most fitting monikers of that era. Not only are the insults mean, but they're also highly entertaining. One memorable example that comes to mind is when Jackson, as a threat to his famed rival Vanderlei Silva, promised him that he would take his belt, pull his pants down and spank him for being so ugly. If you say so, Rampage. Number 4. Tito Ortiz. Tito Ortiz Vitor Belfort. I think it's fair to say that there's a good reason why Tito Ortiz is known as the Huntington Beach bad boy. Apart from his fighting, his trash talking during his prime years was one of the most well known things about him, and it certainly came in handy in regards to his feuds with guys like Ken Shamrock and Chuck Liddell. Fans will of course remember the infamous Rick James verbal barrage that he threw in the direction of Shamrock during the build-up to their 2006 clash at the tough finale. Tito was as mean outside of the cage as he was inside of it, and as a result, he comes in in the fourth position on our list. Number 3. Michael Bisping Michael Bisping is not afraid to tell you exactly what's on his mind. He's been as well known for his sharp tongue as he has been for his work inside the cage over the years. And if we're being completely honest, his work on the mic comes through that bit better as a result of his thick British accent. Highlights include his relentless attacks on the former champion Luke Rockhold and of course, that time he told Brian Stan ahead of their fight that he won't last as long as a virgin on prom night. Ouch. Number 2. Chael Sonnen There's no better way to express yourself than to speak. I'm sure your rib did hurt. Your rib is inside of a coward. It should come as no surprise that Chael Sonnen ranks so highly on this list. He's not only considered one of the greatest middleweight fighters of all time, but his trash talking is something that fight fans absolutely adore. Most people would happily listen to Uncle Chael speaking his mind for hours on end, something that you can now do regularly thanks to his popular YouTube channel. But make no mistake, these were not just idle words. The mental warfare waged by the American gangster was on another level entirely. Just ask Anderson Silva. Something against a Brazilian that's sitting a, a few feet from me. You know, as far as my impression, it's a lot like America. You know, when I was a little kid, I, I remember going outside. I sit around with my friends. We talk about the latest technology and medicine and gaming and American ingenuity. And I look outside, and Anderson and the Brazilian kids are sitting outside playing in the mud. I'm going to talk about money because we are the business network and the. The business of the Ooh. U.S. and all that I'll sort of stuff. I'll take over from here, Nate. You can bounce. <laughs> Number one, Conor take, McGregor. Take coffee break, Nate. Conor McGregor is without a doubt the quickest and most memorable trash talker of this generation in any sport. With a sharp wit and a razor tongue, Conor's trash talk serves the purpose of both frustrating his opponent and also furthering his own legend through viral memes and memorable quotes. You know what wrestling is? I can, I can rest my balls on your forehead. <laughs> yeah, I know. He achieves the perfect mix of psychological offense and fun humor, and as things stand, it's very hard to imagine anyone knocking him off this top spot anytime soon. As a result, we decided to name Conor McGregor the greatest MMA trash talker of all time. Sorry I'm late, I just don't give a fuck! Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, <laughs>